Thank you. Uh, see, I really think that Mr. Capuano really captured the sentiments of a lot of us. And uh, <clears throat> I'd just like to ask uh, Mr. Tolman, uh, in your testimony, you highlighted just a few of the rail accidents that have happened over the last decade. Uh, we, we all know that the rail industry is very safe. And I see this as a, as a good result of good balance struck between the railroads, labor, and government. Uh, in the last few years, there have been several fatigue-related accidents on commuter rail lines in the New York, New Jersey region. Uh, can you speak more about the government's role in protecting train engineers and rail riders? Sure, thank you. Um, you know, in those two accidents, they both, uh, in two, uh, both individuals uh, were diagnosed with sleep apnea. Um, in the railroad industry, when you first start up, you, you know you're 18, 20 years old, uh, you're an astronaut, you're in the best shape of your life. Right. And the railroad in industry is extremely difficult and uh, enduring um, regimen. You go to work 24-7, uh, you're on call 24-7, except in passenger service, but that's the way you start out. You typically would start out in the freight industry, which you're on call. You have no idea when you're gonna get, go to work next. Um, so therefore, then you get called in the middle of the night, you have, uh, and what are you gonna eat? Where, where do you eat? What do you do? There's, there are so many little issues that you deal with, whether it's whole body vibration because of excessive lateral motion or horizontal motion, you go, your body it goes through uh, uh, major changes. And, you know, unfortunately, the, 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 uh, as you come in an astronaut, now uh, they want a person that's there 10, 15, 20 years, they want them to, come, to, to still be that astronaut, and that's impossible with the, with the schedule you keep, uh, the distance you're traveling. I mean, my God, when you, I mentioned the super poles, can you imagine trying to n have the knowledge of 1,500 miles? That's every physical characteristic along the right of way. Mm -hmm. When, it, when the, there's fog or a snowstorm in front of you, it, it's extremely, it's, a, it's so imperative to know exactly where you are at every single moment so that no in incident or accident that happens. Listen, we, we are professionals in the industry. We are the best professionals in the industry across the board. Every, from, from the signal maintainers to the maintenance away workers, we're doing our best under, under extreme conditions. And, and you can't always be that astronaut. We, we are uh, heartbroken that any type of incident ever happens in, in, our, in, in our career. And uh, I'll tell you, every time we hear an incident, our, our heart aches because you, something happened there. And what, what, what happened, God only knows, and we usually find out later. I don't know if I answered your question. No, that, no, that there's, was... There's a lot. Absolutely. <laughs> there's no, a lot to you. it. Thank you. Thank you, Connor. Um, let's see, Ms. Dar and uh, Mr. Nauber. Um The railroads, you know, are much safer uh, than they were 40 years ago. Now, the data proves that. Uh, no doubt this is due in part to the deregulation of the industry, but uh, tragic accidents over the years have prompted Congress and the FRA to um, reassess industry practices. Uh, while I'm receptive to the arguments that regulations can sometimes be burdensome, I also know that regulations have saved lives. Uh, despite what you, you know, might consider uh, the present burdensome regulatory environment, many railroads, including BNSF, are as prosperous as they've ever been in decades. Uh, the railroads are prosperous. The railroads are safe. Why should we rock the boat? Thank you, Congressman. I would just say exactly. Well, Congressman, I, I would... I would uh, probably give a, a little longer answer, so if you'll for, forgive that, and that is that uh, over time we've been prosperous and as you've seen our safety record has never been better. But as we look to the future, 
it's important that we remain prosperous and we remain competitive with our with the other modes. And in order to remain prosperous and remain competitive to be able to invest in our systems, invest in technology and grow, we need to be efficient and we need to adopt the best available technologies and we need to have regulation evolve with technology. You see it in the trucking industry where you, it, you can't pick up, a, you can't read any media without seeing about the, the idea of autonomous cars or autonomous trucks. And at BNSF, we're not talking about autonomous trains, but we are talking about some flexibility to look at aut automating particularly safe manual safety functions when that has both a safety benefit and an efficiency benefit. And so that will free up the existing people we have to be finders and to, from finders to fixers and let the automated technologies that are better at finding continue to find. So it's, a, okay. it's certainly a balance. And I just would like to mention one thing. I, uh, Mr. Tolman was referring to super pools, which is obviously about BNSF, where the railroad that has implemented those. And, you know, I would say that we think sort of bringing this all together that technology is helping. We, we agree that fatigue is a problem and technology is helping these jobs improve to let these folks do a better job and to reduce fatigue. And we may have to agree to disagree with Mr. Tolman about the, the impact of some of these things, but you know, we, don't, we believe that all these implications have, are making things safer and enabling rest rather than, than yeah, okay. Directing it, but uh, again, reason. I mean, I have the greatest respect for my colleague down the down, and you know, we may we may have a difference of opinion on that. Thank you, uh, and and Ms. Dar, I didn't. Your answer is so quick. I didn't catch it. What was it? I said exactly, and oh. that was to agree with you. And it's also to demonstrate that right. short lines are also often um, short worded. <laughs> Very clever. Thank you. <laughs> 